So with Black Myth Wukong coming out tomorrow, I um actually found out some interesting news about it. Some well, basically two issues that I find out about the game. And I think it's going to be very problematic for when it comes out. And where well, one thing it comes out as an issue is something that the publisher of the game um, he, they have specific directives for streamers and what they can and cannot say while they're playing the game. Um, wow. It's uh, very interesting that, you know, publishers can go ahead and, and have like an interesting place of what people can say on their streams, which in my opinion, they should not. Um, but this comes up with the idea of Black Myth Wukong publisher issues bizarre directive on what streamers can and cannot say and under it it says do not include politics violence nudity feminist propaganda or fetishization now there's a lot of people that talk about politics that are streamers and play video games uh talking about violence you could barely talk about the violence during this game because all you're playing is a game that's based off around violence most games are based off around a type of Biden violence nudity okay i would say if like someone is like having some type of nudity on there then yeah they shouldn't be showing like the nudity but also remember some of these games have some a large amount of nudity that's a problem feminist propaganda um the idea that you know something is feminist propaganda is an opinion because some people will automatically say something is propaganda without even having some type of actual you know I would say evidence and then the evidence sometimes gets proven wrong and people just like want to go ahead and try to make some type of idea of oh it's propaganda this and that and this and like whether it's about feminism whether it's about right or left-wing propaganda it's it's just ridiculous people talking about ignorant shit. um fetishization um in my opinion if you take these characters which are like mythical creatures some of them are possibly like, you know, animal based, especially where Wukong is animal based because Wukong is the monkey king. Um, if you try to fetish size on characters like that, in my opinion, you have an issue. I, I, I would never go ahead and go to a point where I would want my characters like that to be fetishized because that leads to rule 34 shit, especially with the Internet is very, very keen on rule 34. And now... If a actual director or the creator of the game doesn't mind it, understandable. Or if the publisher doesn't mind it, understandable. But if they tell you do not go ahead and take their product and don't fetish fetishize it, like go ahead and make Rule Thirty Four stuff, they have the legal right to do so. That's some stuff that you know really, really off, and that's something I would not even allow for my characters. I, I think that would be very, very weird. now. Um. And of course, my thing is going to be out of focus. Um, now, here is another situation that is very, very weird. Now, with this actual game coming out tomorrow, we see that Screen Rant actually has a ranking for it. So it was three out of five stars, which is not bad, in my opinion. There are pros and cons. So the combat is fluid and fun. So you're going to experience very nice and good combat. Cinematography can be breathtaking at times, which is absolutely amazing. Great diversity in items and mechanics, which is also very helpful. You know, more choices of how to play is what makes a game absolutely great. And I am going to go ahead and focus. All right, coolness. But with that, there are also cons. Game performance is unpolished, which, you know, some games have had that issues, but you know, there is certain updates. Gameplay becomes repetitive over time, which that happens. Um, it's going to happen in certain games where it gets repetitive over time. Um, especially where it's like a Souls-like type game, it's going to get repetitive. This is the one that I want to go ahead and, you know, actually dig deep, very, very deep into. Lack in, inclusive, uh, lack in cl inclusivity. I can't read. Like, I don't know why I can't read. Lacking inclusivity and diversity. Here's my thing, and this is what I want people to get through their heads. 
A creator of a series does not have to make a character that is like you or that is based around you. A character is made based on what they want the character to look like. Okay? It's not because they want to go ahead and try to sell it for a certain point. No, it's because they want the character to look like the way they want the fucking character to look like. And this is where the whole bullshit propaganda thing comes out. Now, here's my issue with certain characters and certain people. Now, I like characters like in the first Descendant. I think this first Descendant has amazing design for characters. But the problem is, is if the characters don't look like this, then the game is not good, which is a very shitty opinion, which is very, very lame because of the fact that what is very, very weird to me and that a lot of people do not get is that characters come in different shapes and sizes. And if you are saying that just because a game is good because the character is very sexy, but it's not about the gameplay, it's not about the story, it's not about what the game brings to it, then you are in no position to literally criticize a video game. It's, it's off because what can a person do with that criticism? And there's bad and good criticism. That is a sense of bad criticism. Like, what's weird to me is that people would think a game looks amazing with characters that look like this, but then when a character that looks like this pops on, oh, that's one of the worst games possible. Oh, that's terrible game character design. The character design is not based on what you think a character needs to be. It's what the actual creator wants the character to be. Like, for instance, I got an example. I think this is one of the most attractive characters in gaming. And you can go ahead and literally, you know, criticize me for it. I think Ivy from Soul Calibur is the most attractive character from gaming. And you know what? I've played characters like Daw in or Daw. That's how you pronounce it. Daw from Concord. And Daw was one of the best characters in that roster. But here's my thing. You would say if a character, a game is terrible because they don't have characters that look like this but then you would say that characters that look like this are amazing or characters that look like this are amazing but this one can't like you see you see the issue here that's why it's very very weird that people who are you know gamers or in any type of sense should shut the fuck up when it comes to actual character and creation from an actual area like the creator if a creator makes a character the way that they want to make it then you have no right to be upset you either take it or fucking leave it but then at one point people say that oh this was made because it's trying to sell to the lgbt group what's the point they're trying to pander to a group to earn money. That's called gaining gaining an audience. Like when see when people say, "Oh, they're trying to pander to an audience." Yes. Why not? When you're a business, you have to pander to something to go ahead and grab an audience from each direction. Like if you want to go ahead and pander to children, like for a child's game or like a rating E for everyone's game. And you're going to pick something like Fortnite or something like, for instance, Super Mario or a party game like Mario Kart or Mario Party. If you want to go ahead and pander to things like, you know, Star Wars fans, then you go ahead and put like the Star Wars The Force Unleashed. If you want to pander to people with for horror games, you will pander them to Resident Evil, Silent Hill, PT, and etc. But... That's just how it is. That's business. That's simple business. And the fact that the gamer cannot understand that, it shows that a lot of communication between the gamer and companies needs to literally be limited. And it's very, very sad.